Holy shit. You ask for to shut the door, they sure shut the door. Did everybody hear that? Wow. That was a bang. Thank you. Cindy Martin and Dennis Bachelor. We are here, we are boondocking through Florida, Central Florida, um, Northern Central Florida. Right now we are in um, Jasper, Florida, at the Old County Jail. Um, the, many historians say that two African Americans and one um, Caucasian male were hanged in the bell tower, um, which is in the front of the building. They've heard disembodied voices. Un unusual noises and footsteps throughout the building um, and a lot of shadow activity going on. So we're hoping to pick some of that up. So we now have access. We haven't been to the solid solitary side, but we are going to yeah. get over there. Okay. They, all, they also said that there were um, a woman was allegedly committed suicide um, and there was another man killed here inside the walls. So we don't, we didn't say how. But, um, so there's at least five. So confirmed. we know at least five confirmed um, deaths within the building. Uh, if you can join us tonight for our live uh, Facebook feed, we'll be getting started. Let's see, it's right now 8:30 here. We're gonna try to go in about nine o'clock and uh, do it for about an hour or so, and then we'll we'll come back out and warm up because it is getting cold here. Um, I think it's uh, down in the Okay, we're live. So, this is our uh, second night investigating here at the uh, Hamilton County Historical Museum and Old Jail. The jail was built in uh, 1893. It's uh, been used as a museum but it's kind of in disrepair right now uh, she's in a transitioning stage but we're able to investigate so we're gonna go on in and see if we can get anything tonight um, Cindy here Cindy Hi. Martin um, she's she's listening to uh, the EVPs live, um, real time. So anything we might hear or capture, uh, she should be able to pick up. We will be, I'll go ahead and set up uh, my RR, IR system and we'll just leave it in one of the cells upstairs. And then I've got a voice recorder we've decided we're gonna leave in another area. During the daytime actually, we, we saw a shadow figure uh, in the hallway around just outside that door there um, in solitaire uh, we heard a couple of strange possibly did we ever change the batteries in there okay uh, just I'll, I'll give you guys a quick walk through because you weren't here last night maybe this is the kitchen area to the old jail house closets cool stove this was once the uh, the pump that sat here at the sink and then and they would have to uh, crank the, the water like that to get water into the sink And now we'll go into the cell section. The downstairs was used to house the women. And the upstairs, we'll get there in a minute, were used to house the men. And then, oops, that's me. Okay. An interesting, interesting about this particular cell, again, the 
the women prisoners. In uh, 1925, a female prisoner gave birth to her baby, so her baby in a, um, a crib was set up and her baby also was in the cell with the woman. The uh, woman was furnished extra milk for her baby. The woman was accused of poisoning her husband and the com commissioners allowed her to serve out her time here in jail. And uh, she was never convicted, but asked to leave. So kind of a interesting story there about this. Ugh, there we go. Right. Hallway out to the back. Um, again, this would have been how they would have fed the inmates or, or looked in on them it's through the outside here in this particular area. And there's nothing but a bunch of junk back in you here. Say, you say this is the women. So right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, these are the solitary cells. We'll get into there. So you have to go outside to, to get into them. But this is where they would feed them from. Other than that, they had no contact with any anybody else while they were in solitaire. And we're gonna try some EVP sessions in there a little bit later. There I go up. I got that. <laughs> Felt like a hair hanging off my glasses on my face. <laughs> All right, now we're heading up into the men's portion, of the, and this portion's a lot bigger. Quite a few cells up here. Whoa. A lot of cells up here. I, I'm gonna count them. Right, we'll go through this way first, and then we'll come back out that way. All right, so we have several cells back in here. Um, you see, they weren't... This was a visiting area, what we're assuming, because they have speaker boxes here. On the outside, it looks like they would communicate with whoever come to visit them. There's a little table here, um, a shower. Shower. Again, tonight we'll be, uh, <coughs> later on I'll be setting up the IR, shutting down the lights and we'll do a an EVP session and whatnot in solitaire. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do a live view then because um, we'll be in total darkness and no way to, to uh, stream it over the internet. Now, you were sitting in here one night. Is this the black man? No, that's around the, the back side of this. Or is this the one? Yeah, yeah this. You want to go to the black man's cell? No, no. We were, is that, yep, yeah, this is the one. I was sitting right here. I had, had everything set kind of just like this. And I was just kind of sitting, waiting. It was dark. And they were all in the room adjacent to us. And then that's when I heard like a bang on one of these. And oddly enough, on the other side of this particular cell, uh, there's a cell that's known, and we don't know the reason why, but it's called the black man cell. 
um, and you can visibly see where somebody it's like they took a ball peen hammer and, and just pounded and pounded and pounded onto the, the metal there and Yeah, because they actually, one of them, they all, almost created a, like a little bowl. You know? Yeah. All right. So this is what they call the black man sound. Why, we have no idea. We haven't heard the story yet. But you can see here, maybe on the, on the bed, let me try to get a good can. Yeah, you can see where it's been beat up um, all over, like somebody took a ball peen hammer or something. And on both sides, there's a whole divot right here where it got beat with something. I can't imagine oh, okay. hammering on that over and over. The noise must have been horrendous. Oh. And with what? That's just the Yeah, yeah. With what? So there you see the sign on the, the bars there that say black. I don't know if this was a poor black man or, or what. Well, let's go ahead and go through this other side here. Um, <clears throat> again, there's the uh, showers. Well, the whole floor is about to give in there. You don't want to get in under. Um, just hanging out. This is probably the smallest of them all. What we found interesting last night, <clears throat> if you look on the wall here, um, you can see some scribing. And then up here, somebody has sketched in what appears to be um, the start of a Hercules-like muscle figure into the wall. And then there's a couple of things that we can't read. There's, uh, look like J O H N, maybe John. Oh, J, yeah, J O H N, John. Well, at the top it says K A. So I don't know what, the, if those were made by the inmates at one time through the, through the past. Maybe your initials <clears throat> Okay, the light just dimmed again. So I'm down to level two on lighting, which is fine. We'll set this up uh, down in solitaire. Okay. Get our cameras rolling, do an EVP down there. So now we're back to where we started uh, originally. And if you look here, this... <laughs> This is the outside of the visiting center where we were um, inside that cell there. I can't get the two of them to work for you. But this is where um, the switch is. And, and there's a big lever in here. And they would pull that down to open and close the, the cell doors all at one time simultaneously. And that's what that did. So kind of manually geared. All right, let's go to that other side of the cells and then we'll head downstairs. Step up, step up. All right. and this was a uh, larger cell. Apparently four inmates would be packed in here. Still, still and of feels course a shower. like they have more space. Again, all these dolls and stuff are left over from uh, Halloween. They were part of their props and whatnot. But it's kind of nice. It adds a little creep factor to the thing. All right. Um, while, while you're here, you want to grab the key to solitaire? Yeah. Check out this key. 
the key. Pretty incredible, but that, that opens and closes solitary. So. It says, Manly Jailworks, Dalton, Georgia, 1063. Pretty cool. <laughs> A. <laughs> All right, let's go up. I don't know why I'm carrying this camera. I'm not going to use it till we get come back down. All right. So the skeleton you can see in the bell tower from out front is right here. This is the one that peeks out the window. The uh, portion of the bell tower where they claim or where they actually have photographs, I guess, of the three people being hung is right up above us here. They told me they have a ladder and I'm welcome to crawl up there. In fact, I see a big heavy rope, look at that. Do you really? Yeah, right on the edge of that. Uh, no, it looks pretty old. Stay here where I'm at. See it? Great big uh, hemp rope by the cords going up there. Oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah, it's pretty thick. But they told me I could crawl up there if I wanted to um, and check it out. Uh, I'm not interested. I'm going to pass on that one. Um, <coughs> too big to be crawling around up there. Uh, right here, there's a sign, Cindy. I know. Burry, uncle. Uh, right here, there's a sign, Cindy. I know. Burry, uncle. I didn't see that last night. Uh, right here, there's a sign, Cindy. Burry, uncle. I didn't see that last night. So you want to read out loud? There is no way to access the hanging tower that is located directly above in the top of the tower. We have no records the tower was ever used for hanging. <clears throat> Gallows were constructed in the side yard when it was necessary to carry out the sentence. The noose hanging here is a regu regulation noose with 13 knots, and the gallows had 13 steps leading up to them. Okay, <laughs> so apparently those photographs they have then that we can't find are of maybe the gallows they, they constructed in the side yard, not not the tower. Okay. And the noose. Well, that, that seemed weird to me anyways, that they would hang somebody in the jail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this was probably the apartment used by the jailers. Imagine a whole family in there. I don't know that they would have families because oh. it was just a jail. It wasn't like you got the kids. You know. <clears throat> I think this is stuff that was just donated to her and she's just using them for props and stuff for the museum portion of it. Um, I don't think it's really no. to what it was used for. But who knows? I don't, I don't know. I don't Unfortunately, know. she was going to give us a tour yesterday and got tied up and yeah. we never got the tour. But it's really cool that she threw us the keys and said, have fun. <laughs> and what was the original tour that I did take with her? She had said that there was, this is where the family stayed. And that's all they had. Okay. And they, they just lived here, this, that was their life. So Renee is the owner of this. We'll post a number when I post the videos, a phone number where you can contact her. If you're ever in Jasper, she only charges 35 bucks to do an investigation here. She didn't charge us anything. Um, but what a sweetheart. She also gave us a place to park the RV and uh, also told us to use up use the electricity to hook in. So we've been here for the two days now. Um, we did give her a small donation. Basically free. What a great place. So we played tourists all day today, doing all kinds of waterfalls. Cindy made me get my 10,000 steps in today. Oh my God. <laughs> Stood behind me with the bull whip. There you go. Looks so pretty now. 
He really dresses up the room. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it gives it color. Here. Yeah, no, it's in this one. Right away. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll go out to solitary confinement now. Okay. I got a bunch of stuff in my hands, guys. I'm sorry that I'm. A couple of cameras and whatnot, so I keep having to switch hands. You want to open it? I would love to. With a handy dandy key. Wow, such a big. Now remember it sticks at the top. Yeah. <laughs> here. Might need assistance. Okay, here, hold so this. The neighborhood. Right? You loosened it up. All right. Dental office here. Okay, here, I'll have that. There. Okay. Something about having a stretch office. Um, but actually, this was one big bathroom because there's the there's where they'd send the tray in. There's a name scribed in over here. It says Andy, scribed into the the wall there. No, it says Sandy. 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 Well, Sandy could have been a boy's name. Yeah. Very well. Okay, let me. Or it could have been his girl's name. I have to keep adjusting the camera so I don't blow Cindy's eyes out with the, the mm -hmm. brightness. But yeah, you can see there it says Sandy. Um, I don't know how many of you remember when you go to the dentist, they numb up your mouth. You can there. They numb up your mouth, and then they tell you to spit in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And it was so awful because the spit would just run out of your mouth because you had no feeling. <laughs> so most of the spit would run down your, your front collar or down your front of your shirt. Yeah, you know, it's a little different than the way they do it now. And this was the uh, motor to the drill. Human. Human. Um, I've got this camera here. Are we going to leave this one in here running while we leave? Yeah, the other one um, yeah. okay. has more room. Um, so check out this wheelchair, guys. Pretty, uh, pretty wild. It's, whoops, sorry. It's got uh, three wheels. And the way that it worked was it had hand cranks up here and rather than you use your hands to do the wheels you would crank kind of like bicycle pedals with your hands to roll the uh the wheelchair pretty cool i've, I've never this first time i've ever seen anything like this one never never saw a wheelchair like this and here's a more conventional but very old mm -hmm. wheelchair here probably used in the civil war both of these yeah they said this was a hospital yeah because we're in that that area Here's the uh, first breathalyzers. Come a long way since then.
<sighs> so you want to sit in here and do an EVP session? Yeah. Is that what you wanted to do? Yeah, okay. Oh, this you're, is, they call it the dungeon. Almost, but not quite. Correct. Correct. <coughs> I don't know that I'd sit on that bed. It's kind of disgusting. I know. I saw it too. I'm like, oh, there's a, oh, no. Um, the story was there was a John, I um, remember her saying a John that was in here for a very long time, he was very angry, and he, he liked to hang on the window, yelling at the guards and stuff. Um, so let's see if we can get John to come on out and talk his shot here. Anybody else that would like to uh, come uh, play with one of these toys here? Just walk near it and lay your hand over it. Light up those lights to red. That would be great. Oh, there you go. Keep going all the way up to red. Can you bring those lights back down to the wall? Again, you know what I think it is? I think it's what? Because we're doing a live stream video and it's pinging the satellite. From your camera? From the phone, yeah. Well, we know, yeah, the phone's... I don't, I don't think we can use K2s while we're... But the mal meter here... Explain. The mal meter is working fine. 60 degrees in here, 60.7. Uh, right now, there are no EMFs. What we ought to do is maybe set this camera up <clears throat> when we leave on the the uh, mal meter, and it it will catch uh, mm. any Good fluctuations. Good um, but let's do it in the larger room, the larger section. Okay. Um, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I think the energy is in here because this is where the room. Okay. Well, we can go with it here. Trauma. I don't know. Locked in this room, yeah. you know. I mean, it feels really good. It feels not funny. It just feels sad. It just feels like that. Oh. Can't see sad. outside. You don't know if it's day or night. It just feels sad. Yeah. If that's a good idea. Tree. <coughs> Tree. Tree. Yeah. Pat, are you, you here with us? Can't see day, can't see night, can't go outside. No trees. Mm -hmm. can't see yeah. Tree. Yeah. Or the hanging trees. Are you one of the persons that were hung on the hanging tree? Apparently, there were lots of. Uh, 
Well, we don't know how many, to be honest. We're hung at the hanging tree across the street here. But then that also said that they built gallows, so. Yeah. So there's some conflicting information. And I would think that in, through time, when that became non-legal anymore, that they would take those gallows out, wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 Like I say, it just doesn't make, never made sense to me why they would hang someone in the, in the tower of the actual jail. That just doesn't make sense to me. Um, it's not like it's a prison an execution. They have photos. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, um, and yeah, before we leave town, we'll true try to. Story. Yeah, we need to ask. I don't know if there's a museum here in town or, or you know, Renee ought to be able to tell us. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Unclear. Unclear. Are we unclear on that? We're unclear. Okay, guys, we're right now, we're, uh, for those who have joined us, uh, solitary at the uh, Hamilton County Jailhouse in Jasper, Florida. We've done two nights worth of investigation. This is the second night. Um, we got a little, little activity last night, not too much. We're hoping for some more tonight, something a little bigger, a little better, more spookier. <laughs> Other than uh, so far, other than a plant, stairs, we <laughs> and a cat the day before, and a cat the day before. We really <laughs> haven't had a whole lot go on. You know? yes, we <laughs> well, no noises, creaks. I I know I've I've heard some um, things in my ear. You know, just just small. Size and yeah, almost a frustration kind of a, a, a thing, also like a <sighs> you know. <laughs> um, we'll see. Well, Pat, are you here with us? Is there anybody here with us? Can you bang on something? Let us know that you're here. Just about anything you touch will make noise. Beans. Beans. Is that what they fed you? Kiss. Uh huh. Want to kiss? So Cindy said, or she's gonna spend the night in here. No, say that. I did say that. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't say in solitary. Oh, not solitary. Huh? Nor locked I'd be in. happy to lock you in. Oh, that actually would be neat. The bed was a little nicer. I, um, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but that yeah. thing. Yeah. It's pretty disgusting. I um, I got in the morgue. Um, at Waverly Hills on the bottom um, slab and, and crawled all up in it and laid in it and I uh, also apparently they had cameras there and they got sh shooed off of there pretty quickly but uh, I had the, the, the balls to, to get into that morgue where 60 yeah. some thousand bodies went through there wow uh, cool you know? So, um, readjusting so didn't blind Cindy so bad. Didn't. Yeah, kind of true. And since we really haven't had a whole lot going on yet, um, you know, I, I, I could. I, you know? Uh.
And we start having some stuff and, you know, some great things so, uh, here uh, that were frightening. Or Okay. Is there anybody here with us that would like to speak to us? We don't mean you any harm, no disrespect. You probably remember us from last night. Cindy and I'm Dennis. We have little devices that you can touch, you can walk past, or you can even speak out if you're able. If we can't hear you, the little devices will capture your voice and we can listen to you, what you have to say later. So if you have a message, can you say something please? Eat. Oh, this one likes food. This is for Jim. Jim, can you wave your hand over here in front of this antenna and lay up his legs for us? And Pat and Murphy. You guys here? Anybody? <laughs> That would be tough in these four walls. Oh. I'll maybe do the Heimlich on you. Are you mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. I've just, uh, I just felt choked up. Just, kind of just no, choke. You know, like choke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was strange. That was yeah, it was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of how I was going to do the Heimlich on your belly. Yeah. I don't know if I could reach around. <laughs> a lot of it there, right there. <laughs> I'm not sure I can reach. <laughs> oh, the sucker's just going to die. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, but it was weird. It was like all of a sudden, kind of got something in my throat. Like, I have a lot of feminine in my Yeah, it's still that way. <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, Let's get out yeah, of here for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the heck. Pendant. Maybe it wants me to do my own. Um, That's kind of strange. Yeah. <coughs> sitting in here, or do you feel in here? It's not as bad now. Just walking out of there. <coughs> Pretty weird. Sit here if you if you want. Well, here let's let's uh go ahead and set. set shall we set this thing up and then leave it in here? Yeah. All right. Let me uh put the camera down over here again. I know it makes a. Pretty nasty noise, sorry about that. Okay, we just went down another notch in the lighting. So the battery's about to fail in the, that camera, which is fine, I've got more, but we're gonna set this up here and see I are. If I think if I set it up over here, maybe on this podium. Mm -hmm. We could leave the obvious next to it. Right here, we could get the gel set up and um, just bought this pendulum. It's rose quartz. Thought we'd do a pendulum session. Okay, this is a on camera. I'm going to go ahead and turn out the light for about a half a second here. Okay. And you can see that we're actually in high R here. 
So we're going to leave the IR camera running um, as we leave and hopefully we'll be able to just let, let the battery run out and maybe we'll catch something in this room. But I'm actually going to take it over here to this other side so we can catch as much of this room and the entrance into that cell as possible and see if we can't capture something while we're not in here. So let me put the IR over there. <clears throat> Again, sorry about that. Just, just making adjustments. Okay. Oh, you got the pendulum? Yeah. Okay. All right, let me see if I can kind of get an idea. Oh, that IR is not even on. There we go. Okay, this has got the entrance into solitary. And basically just this area out right here to there. So that's, that's good. Turn them up high. It's recording right now. We've got... Uh, cool. Got 107 minutes. Okay. On, on that camera. I thought we had 300 to begin with. Um, okay, and then I've got this little, uh, yeah, and then I've got my recorder here. And we can leave it run wherever you want to. Um, you want to try an EVP session or just let the camera run and go to another section? Uh, whatever, what are you feeling? Let's go ahead and just let the camera run for a little bit. Okay, that'd be quiet in here. And then, uh... I'll just try this for a second. You know, it's only going to run about an hour and a half, maybe. But then we can come grab it and see how it, how it did. Okay. Decide it. Yes, we have decided. Yes. Carrier. Um, what is that? Mean? Story. Um, get point one on the EMF. Sixty two seven. Temperature's going up. Sixty two nine. Sure Wide. See it, but it's vibrating. Show me yes. Energy's not as strong in here. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I think we should move to a different location and um, All right. that run, like you said, see if anything wants to come through. Well, let's leave Take the. This uh, with you, with us. Let me let me go put the mail meter over here where the camera can see it. Okay. Wait, going off. That's just you. You're too close. It's okay. the end. Uh, Antenna is the sensor. So let me see if I can find a place to put this where we can see it well enough. Boy. Um,
can't really read it there. Um, but we'll be able to see if it if the rim pod goes off or not. Mm -hmm. So that's that's good enough, I guess. I guess yeah. Um, if need be, maybe we could zoom in. Probably. If, it, if it's, there was activity going on and the ram was going off, maybe we could zoom in and later we'll, we'll edit it. it. Yeah, yeah, on in and, post. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, guys. We're we'll be back. Leave that equipment run until it dies. Um, it is on a, an IR camera, so it'll be total darkness in here. Yeah. All right, we're leaving solitary. <laughs>